Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined by Ralph Michaels and Brian Leonard. Let's talk NFC Championship game. This is a really exciting one for me. Um, I like one side an awful lot in this one, and nobody seems to agree with me, except for Tony Miller over at the Golden Nugget, because it's the side they nobody need. Nobody agrees with you. Nobody. No one in the country. Maybe you do, Ralph. Hopefully somebody. I would think this line Sorry. would have moved if she's the only one in the country. Yeah, well, she's side. got a lot of power. So, oh, you know, <laughs> than what we thought. Yeah. Well, I, I did. It did move. Uh, it's still three and a half at the Golden Nugget, but I've seen some spots at three. Rams catching three at New Orleans Saints. Uh, this total was 57 last time I looked. Uh, Brian, I'll start with you. We talked last week. I did a video with Teddy, and he was talking about the 14-1 and with the underdogs in the playoffs. And I told him it's a small sample size, and these lines were all affected by the underdogs winning so much. Uh, I'm not only saying that because the home teams went 4-0 straight up, 3-1 and against the spread. I'm saying it that... To prove Teddy wrong? To prove Teddy, yes, also that. Oh, ahead, I would have said Teddy left already. <laughs> I just said it to his face. But uh, you can't use a small sample size like that. You've got to be able to look at the entire seasonal record of these teams, what they've done the last month, not just what happened to go in the last few games. When you're looking at these four games right now, or the two games right now, the four teams being played, you have to consider what these teams have, or excuse me, what the sports books have on season win bets and who's to win the championship. Um, there's been a lot of talk that there's a lot of vulnerability out there from a lot of sports books that have a lot of money bet on the Rams, Rams. to win it all. Yeah. So when you look at these games, you have to, that line comes out three and a half. The reason why it came out of three and a half, at least in my mind, is because they've got all this money on the Saints. So they made, or excuse me, on the, uh, on the Rams. So for the most part, they made the Saints cheap at three and a half. The Saints have a four-point home field advantage. You take a look at Breeze at home, how great he's done at home. You take a look at the Rams, how bad golf's played on the road. This is a cheap line at three and a half. But people are out there thinking three and a half, the Rams kidding three and a half. They're going to bet that game down to three. Especially with the hook. It looks very enticing. It looks very enticing. But if Marco was here, I'd say, why did they put that at hey, three he's and right a half? over there. Why did they is, put that at three and a half? Trap. Brian, is that a trap game? it's a trap. <laughs> the sports books want money to come in All right, that way. well, fine. If it's a trap game, I already bet the Rams plus three and a half. You are uh, the only person that likes I that. I told you. I feel like I am. And, it, and it, I look at it. From a couple of different standpoints, um, Sean Payton, obviously Drew Brees, six and zero at home um, during the playoffs since they've been together for a million years now. It seems like, um, and and really, I saw something from the Rams that we haven't seen in a few weeks, and I, I give a lot of props to C.J. Anderson uh, being able to pick up where Todd Gurley wasn't able to do so, whether he's injured or maybe he's just not getting his running game going. Oh, plus, know. it's just it's nice having fresh legs. Oh, End of the true. year, you have fresh legs you haven't played. My God, what an advantage to have Absolutely. being a beast that he is. So, and you know, and I, and I really uh, kind of busted some balls of Rams fans last week. I did end up on the Rams, but I was thinking that Ezekiel Elliott would have a much bigger game against that Rams 23rd ranked rush defense, and they absolutely shut him down. So I think that's a concern for Ingram and Kamara, even though Kamara is kind of uh, a flex player, so to speak, because he catches a lot of dink and dunk type passes as well. But I was kind of looking at it going, you know what? Rams catching three and a hook looks really enticing. Well, yeah, yeah are we done or can I talk now? I'm going to talk again, but you can go Okay, now. all right. Well, I, you know, I understand the Rams looking enticing because they haven't been an underdog all year. So, boom, you've played all the, you played the entire yeah. season, you played a playoff game, and now you're a dog for the first time. So that part I understand. I also think Brian makes up a great point. While I don't know if it's really worth maybe a half a point to some books, some books don't have that Rams liability, depending on where you are. You know, we've talked about may, Maybe some have the Saints liability yeah. during that big run. You know, so again, we, that, that differs here and there. But maybe the opening number at some places that have it put that in, and then the market goes from there. But, you know, like you said, Saints 6-0 in the playoffs. Why are they 6-0? Well, you have a quarterback who doesn't make mistakes. Breeze in those six games, 14-2 ratio. You have probably the loudest, maybe the loudest stadium in, in, in football. I mean, you know, the Chiefs are great, but it's outside. Seattle's great, but it's outside. When you get the Saints, it's loud. Well, you know, Jared Goff benefited from very – low crowds you know they didn't play many places on the road that had intimidating places except the Saints golf at home this year 22 and 3 ratio golf on the road this year 10 9 ratio golf against his last three teams that are in the playoffs or made the playoffs a 1 5 ratio you look at 
champions. You know, you talk about a body of work, and you don't want to say, well, playoff dogs are good because they went one year and not the next. But conference uh, home teams and conference championships, 10-0 and 0 the last five years, 8-2 and 2 ATS. Why? Well, you had a bye week. You were the higher seed. You were at home last week. You're not traveling again. The other teams are happy. They celebrated. They won. Now they had to travel. That home edge is a big difference. And then you look at the Saints, and the Saints defense doesn't get credit. But Sands, that Carolina game, which didn't mean anything, 14.5 points per game allowed for the Saints the last eight games. The defense is playing legit. I'm on the Saints. Yeah, you're talking about, about this game, and you, and you like the Rams. Well, you're also buying high on the Rams because the Rams just dominated a game in the NFC and the Saints struggled to win that game. That's what people remember late, the last thing they saw. Well, keep in mind, the, uh, the Rams played the Cowboys and the coaching staff of the Cowboys. The coaching staff of the Cowboys. Now the final four, all these teams that are left have excellent coaches and even the Eagles. The, the Eagles have an excellent coach. So that was by far the worst coach that you were looking at last week in the playoffs. So don't buy into the Rams all of a sudden. They dominated that game. They still have a problem with their, with their running back. He's not fully healthy. They do have the ability to have the second string running back. It's very good. But as you pointed out, this Saints defense is totally different than it was before. Uh, I was impressed by the Saints last week, even though they didn't win that game. I was, or excuse me, didn't cover that game. I, I, I think this is a very cheap number, but I'm not betting it yet because I'm hoping Kelly brings in some friends and takes this line back down to three. One last point is, you know, you said you wanted the last word, but I have to get the last word. So, um, you, you know, you watched the game last week, and they talked about golf always having to listen to his coach. And you can only listen up until 15 seconds are left. And even then, he struggled to get some of those calls in. And that was at home against Dallas. Yes, Dallas maybe had half the crowd, so it was a quasi-neutral game. Now, having a difficulty hearing the plays, golf really depends on McVay, where Breeze doesn't need, even though he's at home, Breeze doesn't need his coach to do what he has to do. So I think the crowd noise in this makes a big difference. One TNA number to finish just to support you a little bit. Teams that in the playoffs that had no turnovers in their last game since 2014 are 22 and 12, which is both New England and the Rams, both teams I don't really have. But again, just a number, 22 and 12 against the spread, 64.7%. If you played a clean game the previous game, Rams didn't have turn any turnovers against Dallas. All right, good stuff from both guys. Wager talks, wager talk tax club. I can't even talk today. They got me all That means they got to deal with Johnny. Game. Oh my gosh. 100% free. Just text wager talk to 33222 to get a $10 coupon for signing up, plus free picks and other special offers.